I said, I'm done. I don't ever want to speak to you or see you again. We were estranged for years. It was a theme that shaped my life. The most important thing I did was realize the part I played in it. My goal in Fault Lines is to take the problem of family estrangement out of the shadows and into the clear light of awareness and open discussion. When we meet people, it is devastating to tell the truth. Oh, there's problems. Or we don't see each other. It's not a question that people ask more about. Is the death of a relationship with, with no funeral, no closure? It was an argument among three sisters that turned into an entire family debacle. And I feel that I'm right to not have contact with them. So I tapped the wisdom of hundreds of people who are living in family rifts and those who have reconciled even after decades. We didn't have contact for 15 years, but I never stopped thinking about him. I wanted to at least get along at holidays when we had to be in the same room. Based on five years of research, I provide stories that are compelling and rich, strategies, practical tips, and ideas for how to mend your own fractured family. My advice to others would be to carefully establish their own boundaries. When I told her this was her last chance, she believed me. He was more interested in seeing who I was and me seeing who he was than hashing up past her. That argument that started all this trouble <laughs> seems trivial to me now. I realized I truly, deeply wanted to reconcile. And I got in my car and I drove to their house. And the hardest thing I've ever done in my life was knock on the door.